I'll be repainting Gulia since she won the vote I held over on Instagram. I washed her hair and will be using it for a future project since it's in good condition. I tie her hair in a ponytail and use an old electric shaver to get as close to the root as possible. I remove her head by dunking it in hot water to soften the vinyl. It's easier to remove the hair and glue from inside while it's still warm. I remove her factory paint using 100% acetone. I'm using white yarn for her hair. I unravel and re-root to create a wavy texture. I impulsively decided to do an ombre and this is where I messed up by not strand testing first. I used some blue dye I already had. And it came out bright purple. The ombre looks good but the bright purple won't work for her. So I realize that it's eye dye poly and the blue dye molecules must not have been able to adhere to the acrylic. I'm guessing it's from the water condensation from having her head so close to the pot that caused these accidental freckles. But as Bob Ross would say, there are no mistakes, just happy accidents. So I'm counting these tiny freckles as a win and we'll be adding even more. I really wanted the ombre hair, so for round two, I bought Rit Dye More Synthetic, which works on acrylic. This time, I'm leaving the yarn unraveled to preserve the wave texture and dipping up to where I want the color to start. Then I leave some of the yarn out to let the color take more on the bottom parts. I repeat this process until it's not getting any darker. Then for the very bottom, I add more dye to the pot for a stronger color. And you can see that it gives a very nice color gradient. I'll be getting rid of her molded on underwear with some sandpaper. I use rough grit to remove it and then finer grit to smooth it out. Once she is smooth, I apply a layer of MSC and then start blushing. I'm going for a frostbitten look, so I'm blushing with blue and then adding a second layer of black soft pastel to the fingers and toe tips. I 
add veins using two colors, teal, blue, and purple. After I draw on the veins, I use a kneaded eraser to soften them so they look more like they're under the skin as opposed to lines drawn on top of the skin. Next, I take watered down acrylic paint and dot on freckles to the chest, then dab with a paper towel. I'm adding glitter to the bust and once it's sprayed with MSE flat, it will make the glitter look more frosted. Use gloss for a more wet, shiny look. I wanted to keep her matte but also frosty looking. I'm blushing her ears and jawline for dimension. I use the same technique of drawing veins on her face and use a kneaded eraser to soften them. I'm really liking how the happy accidental freckles look with the veins. I'm doing a purple to blue gradient for the brows with soft pastel. I'm taking black pastel and adding it to the tip of the nose and the ears. And now I'm just flinging paint at her to create more freckles. Now that we have a nice freckly base, I'm adding on the larger, more prominent freckles with the brush. Next, I'm sketching in the eye shapes. Once I'm happy with the shape, I start building up the layers. I removed her lips with acetone because they felt too dark. I like the lighter purple lips better. I use these mica powders to add shimmer to the lips and cheekbones. Use a kneaded eraser to clean up the areas where you don't want shimmer. I really packed it on the lips because I find that MSC tends to reduce some of the shimmer. I 
I'm going over the lash and brow strokes I made with white acrylic to make them bolder. I use soft pastel at the base to add depth to the lashes. She just needs eye shines and a final coat of MSC. I use this white shiny fabric to create four strips that make up her skirt. She is a spirit and has details on her body, so I really want to keep the clothes minimal. Using the edge of this ribbon, I create her belt. I'm creating a crown out of quartz I got at Hobby Lobby. I take wire and start wrapping each piece. I also made a crystal belt, but it ended up looking clunky and I wanted the body to be sleek. This is the skirt and I added iridescent ribbon to the seams. I decided to add two iridescent thin crystals instead of the belt. Now that her body is finished and her head is back on, it's time to remove her giant head wrap. Thanks for watching and thanks to everyone on Instagram who helped create her backstory and choose her name. Subscribe to see more videos and leave a like if you liked it. Comment down below and let me know what you think of her. All my social media info and materials used are in the description box below. Follow me on Instagram so you don't miss out on my upcoming giveaway. See you next time. Bye!